A lot of people don't understand how money works. Money is an energy exchange that brings opportunity. Opportunity is not good or bad. Opportunity is opportunity, right? So let's say you put your money into these growth things, your gym membership, a massage, eating healthy, studying, right? The energy goes in there, the money, and it grows into bigger opportunity within those things. You build business, you get in better shape, you eat healthy, you get better skin, right? You take your money and your energy and you place them to these things that don't bring you any return, that keep you stuck. Alcohol, drugs, bad relationships, uh, bad food. The opportunity becomes, you have an opportunity to just become deeper layered into those things and stuck. There's no growth. We're having the uncomfortable conversation. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So look, understanding this concept allowed me to build several multi-million dollar companies while getting in the best shape of my life. See, most people don't get this, all right? And this is gonna be a paradigm shift. So once you get it, like you're out of here, all right? I'm gonna show you how to splurge on yourself and become rich in all areas of your life, all right? Once again, I'm gonna show you how to splurge on yourself and become rich in all areas of your life. All right, see what happens is most people, they penny pinch on the things that will help them grow and they splurge on the things that bring them no return on investment or their time or their self, right? But when you get this paradigm shift, it may sound simple, but when, you, when it clicks, like you're, you're gonna be gone, all right? And, I, and, I, and I'm happy for you if you stay to the end of this video. What I mean by that is, I had to look at my life one day, right? And it was like not where I wanted to be. But if you really wanna know where you are in life, I want you to do this. You gotta look at your bank account. Your bank account will tell you exactly where you are in life. And I don't mean the number in your bank account, I mean your transaction history, right? So go into your bank account, right? And I want you to look for anything that you spent money on that has not brought you a return on investment and how much money you spent on it. And some of this becomes clothes, bags, shoes, dinners, alcohol, right? Add it all up, add it all up, see what it is. Anything that was not a necessary expense for your life, see what you, see what you tied that up to. And I also wanna go, go into your bank account and look for any of things that will help your growth or self-care. Look for massages, look for a gym membership, look for organic food, look for cryotherapy, look for books that you've purchased, right? And add it all up, right? And when you get those two numbers, see what they are. Now, you may be on the road to self-discipline and understanding this concept already, but if you're not and your life is not where you're supposed to be, I want you to look at that number that you added up, the first number, and see what it came up to. And see how much money you spent on wine and things that don't matter to a certain extent, right? And how much that really looks like. And then see where you are in life and see if it's where you want to be. Because once you start to see that, your bank history will tell you exactly where you are. Your bank account tells you right where you are. Your transaction here tells you right where you are. Now, here's the key. If this number outweighs this number, you need to switch those budgets and create budgets as well. Most people don't have a budget. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna create a growth budget. A growth budget. This contains health, this contains books, this contains self-care. You gotta have that budget, right? Because these are all the things that aren't transactional, so to speak, that you pay for, that you don't get a direct result from, but long-term, they may make you wealthy and rich in all areas of your life and your spirit. If you buy the right books, if you take the right courses, and your growth and your money, right? So you have to create a budget for it because energy is always exchanged as energy in, energy out, right? So if you're putting energy into things, right, that are detrimental, the energy that you're getting out is gonna be you staying at that level of those things. But if you put energy in, which is your money, money is energy, into other things that'll help you grow, then you can grow exponentially. I'm gonna say that again, because a lot of people don't understand how money works. Money is an energy exchange that brings opportunity. Opportunity is not good or bad. Opportunity is opportunity, right?
So let's say you put your money into these growth things, your gym membership, a massage, eating healthy, studying, right? The energy goes in there, the money, and it grows into bigger opportunity within those things. You build business, you get in better shape, you eat healthy, you get better skin, right? You take your money and your energy and you place them to these things that don't bring you any return, that keep you stuck. Alcohol, drugs, bad relationships, uh, bad food. The opportunity becomes, you have an opportunity to just become deeper layered into those things and stuck. There's no growth, right? The energy can't grow. Growth, no growth, right? So this is a simple hack, but it's so profound, right? I had to change my life. I had a video, another video on YouTube. If you look up like getting to the next level on YouTube, there's this video where I break down, I'm speaking in front of a crowd and I say, I say, uh, I, went to the, I used to go to the club. I paid 300 for a bottle. And I paid $30 for a book. I said, the bottle got me drunk. Something I learned in the book made me a million dollars. Energy exchange. Energy exchange. Opportunity was to get drunk. Opportunity was I learned some growth. I learned some things that helped me build my business, right? So, once again, this video is to tell you, splurge on yourself. Don't cancel your gym membership. Don't cancel anybody that's watching from X28. Stop canceling your X28 saying it's too expensive. You can never say that growing yourself is too expensive. Create the budget for yourself. Create the budget for your health. Create the budget for your food. Create the budget for your church. Create the budget for your relationships. Create the budget for the things that you want to see yourself grow in, right? If you are, you know, if you do go to church, if you're just spiritual, create the budget for your spirituality and the things that you need for that. Because all these things take energy. The money exchanges the energy. Take this to heart. And if you don't have extra expenses, and you don't have, I'm sorry, if you don't have extra income, then the way you do it is you invest in the things that are least, um, the least to purchase. So what I did was, I would buy books. Books were cheap or you go to the library. Most of, the, most of the secrets to the world are left in the books. They're in the library. And that was my first part of my growth budget, was books. And they changed my life. If you want to grow and be rich in all areas of your life, you have to stop investing in the things that are detrimental to your time, all right, yourself, that aren't bringing you any return on investment, and start reverse engineering the way you think about growth and the budget that you create for your self-care, your health, your love of yourself, and what you want to see yourself become in the future. And that's the G-Code. Yo, G-Code Society, what up? Listen, if you like this video, let me know in the comments anything else you want me to talk about. I'm trying to get all those requests answered. Uh, other than that, we on the road to 5K, man. I love it. So if you like my videos, don't hoard them. Share them with people. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on all my socials. And listen, if you want to be part of my motivational text community, make sure you text ELEVATE to 404-238-7820. Listen, G-Code Society, we here. We up next. Let's get it.